When we look back at the history of Apple's iPad lineup, one of the most transformative upgrades in recent memory was the introduction of the M4 iPad Pro. This device wasn't just another small step in Apple's tablet evolution. It was a bold redefinition of what the iPad could be. It brought with it a slimmer and lighter form factor, a gorgeous tandem OLED display, the blistering speed of the M4 processor, and a redesigned magic keyboard that made productivity on the iPad feel closer to using a MacBook than ever before. For many people, including myself, it wasn't just a content consumption device anymore. It became a full-fledged MacBook replacement, capable of handling video editing, professional photo work, advanced multitasking, and even running workflows that used to be exclusive to laptops or desktops. The M4 iPad Pro was so good that many creators and professionals started using it as their primary computer. In fact, for months after launch, discussions online centered around how this device blurred the line between a tablet and a laptop. But as we know, technology doesn't stand still. Apple is already preparing the next generation, the M5 iPad Pro, expected to launch this fall. So today, let's go on a deep dive into everything we know so far about the M5 iPad Pro. We'll explore rumored features, performance expectations, camera upgrades, RAM changes, and even how this iPad could set the stage for Apple's next big leap into AI-powered computing. And to give you the most comprehensive view possible, we'll also talk about how it compares to past iPads, who should actually consider upgrading, and why waiting for the M6 iPad Pro might make sense for some users. The heart of the M5 iPad Pro, the M5 chip own of the biggest expected upgrades for the upcoming iPad Pro is, of course, the M5 chip. Historically, Apple used to debut its most advanced processors inside the MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, with the iPad adopting those chips later. But with the release of the M4 iPad Pro, that trend shifted. For the first time, Apple introduced a brand new M-series chip on the iPad before the Mac. That marked a major change in strategy, positioning the iPad Pro as not just a tablet, but as a flagship product for Apple Silicon innovation. Following this same pattern, the M5 chip is highly likely to make its debut inside the iPad Pro first, before it eventually arrives in MacBooks and iMacs. This move signals Apple's confidence in the iPad as a showcase device for the future of computing. What can we expect from the M5 chip? While Apple has not officially revealed the specifications yet, based on leaks and industry reports, we can reasonably expect faster CPU performance. The M5 is expected to push single-core and multi-core performance beyond what the M4 offered. This will matter not just for day-to-day -day speed, but for heavy workloads like video editing, 3D rendering, and coding. Next-gen GPU improvements. Apple has been laser-focused on graphics performance, especially as it competes with high-end Windows laptops. Expect better support for high frame rate gaming, real-time rendering, and smoother animations, AI acceleration through the neural engine. Perhaps the most important upgrade will be in machine learning and AI workloads. With Apple intelligence now being a major marketing focus, the M5 chip will almost certainly be designed to handle AI-driven tasks like real-time language translation, intelligent photo editing, personalized Siri responses, and even on-device generative AI improved efficiency. Apple is known for balancing power with efficiency. The M5 is likely to consume less energy while still offering higher performance, translating into better battery life for the iPad Pro. This focus on AI performance is particularly significant. When the M4 iPad Pro launched, Apple intelligence wasn't yet in the spotlight. But since then, we've seen Apple shift its entire messaging toward AI. For example, when the iPad Mini 7 came out with the A17 Pro chip, the emphasis wasn't on raw performance, but rather on AI features. This tells us that the M5 iPad Pro will probably be marketed as the ultimate AI-ready tablet built for the future of computing. The camera surprise. Two front-facing cameras Another fascinating rumor surrounding the M5 iPad Pro is its camera system. Last year, Apple made a welcome change by moving the front-facing camera to the landscape orientation on the M4 iPad Pro, making video calls and FaceTime much more natural when the iPad was used with a keyboard or placed in landscape mode. Now, reports suggest that Apple may take things even further by adding a second front-facing camera, one in landscape and one in portrait. At first, this sounds odd. Why would Apple place two cameras on the front of the iPad? But when you think about it, the logic becomes clearer. Better video conferencing flexibility. No matter how you hold the iPad, portrait or landscape, 
you'll always be centered on video calls. New features like desk view and multicam. Apple may borrow features from Mac OS, allowing creators to use both cameras for multi-angle recording, live streaming, or even desk view setups that show your workspace while still keeping your face in the frame. Enhanced Face ID and AR Capabilities Dual front cameras could also improve depth sensing, facial recognition, and augmented reality applications, paving the way for richer AR experiences. If this rumor proves true, the M5 iPad Pro could become the most versatile Apple device ever for video communication and content creation. For professionals who rely on Zoom, Teams, or FaceTime daily, this change could be a game changer. RAM Standardization Goodbye to the 8GB limit with the M4 iPad Pro, Apple introduced a two-tiered approach to RAM. The base models with lower storage configurations shipped with 8GB of RAM, while the higher-end 1TB and 2TB models came with 16GB of RAM. While this worked for many casual users, it created frustration for professionals who wanted more RAM without paying extra for unnecessary storage. But now the industry is changing. iPad OS 26 has introduced more demanding productivity features. AI features require more memory, and Apple's own M4 Max all ship with at least 16 GB of RAM. Given this landscape, it seems increasingly likely that every version of the M5 iPad Pro will come standard with 16 GB of RAM. This would be a huge win for professionals. No more compromises. No more juggling storage versus RAM decisions, just pure performance across the lineup. Wi-Fi 7. Next-Gen Connectivity. Another confirmed area of improvement will likely be wireless connectivity. The M4 iPad Pro shipped with support for Wi-Fi 6E, which offers up to 9 GBPs of transfer speed. But Apple has already embraced Wi-Fi 7 with the iPhone 16 lineup, and it only makes sense for the iPad Pro to follow. With Wi-Fi 7, we can expect speeds up to 46 GBPs, five times faster than Wi-Fi 6E lower latency, perfect for online gaming and real-time collaboration, better stability in crowded networks, especially important in office or university settings. This will make the iPad Pro not only faster for cloud-based workflows, but also a serious contender for wireless professional setups. Imagine editing 8K video files stored on a NAS drive over Wi-Fi without noticeable lag. That's the future Wi-Fi 7 could unlock. Display options. Will Nano Texture. Finally be universal? When the M4 iPad Pro was released, Apple introduced an optional nano texture display designed to reduce glare and reflections. This feature was a dream for video editors, designers, and photographers, but there was a catch. It was only available on the most expensive, high storage iPad Pro models. This left many professionals frustrated as they wanted the display upgrade without paying for unnecessary storage. With the M5 iPad Pro, many users are hoping Apple will make nano texture glass available across all storage configurations. If Apple does this, it will make the iPad Pro much more appealing to creatives who work in bright studios, classrooms, or outdoor environments where reflections can be a major issue. Who should upgrade to the M5 iPad Pro? Here's the big question. Who is the M5 iPad Pro really for? If you already own an M4 iPad Pro, the rumored changes, while meaningful, might not feel like enough to justify an upgrade. Yes, the M5 chip, dual front-facing cameras, and Wi-Fi 7 are great, but they aren't revolutionary compared to last year's model. However, if you're coming from M2 iPad Pro M3 iPad Air or any earlier model, the M5 iPad Pro could feel like a massive leap forward. The combination of the tandem OLED display, AI-optimized M5 chip, standardized 16GB RAM, and next-gen connectivity will make it one of the most powerful portable computing devices in the world. Looking ahead, the M6 iPad Pro, while the M5 iPad Pro will be an exciting upgrade. Many believe the M6 iPad Pro will be where Apple introduces the next major redesign or breakthrough technology. Potential features could include even thinner bezels under display face ID holographic or 3D AR display modes integration with Apple Vision Pro for seamless mixed reality workflows. So, if you're on the fence and already own an M4 iPad Pro, it might be worth holding out for the M6 generation. Final thoughts, the upcoming M5 iPad Pro may not reinvent the wheel, but it's shaping up to be a refined, powerful, and AI-focused upgrade. With the M5 chip leading the charge, expected dual front-facing cameras, standardized RAM, 
Wi-Fi 7 support, and possibly expanded nano texture display options. This device will once again prove why the iPad Pro is more than just a tablet. It's Apple's vision of the future of portable computing. Whether you're a creative professional, a student pushing the boundaries of productivity, or simply someone who wants the best tablet on the market, the M5 iPad Pro is worth keeping an eye on this fall.